to see portraits of Christ that need to be repainted all over this world. Maybe not like a physical portrait, but a portrait with somebody's life. You know, what they say, what they do, maybe even what they don't do. Some of you don't want to have anything to do with God because someone along the way painted a portrait of Jesus with their life and it didn't make a lot of sense. In fact, maybe it even judged you. Maybe it hurt you. Maybe it left you for dead in your greatest moment of need. If that's you tonight and you're in this tent and you've come to see these bands and you've got that portrait of Christ that's been painted to you that you associate Jesus or, or, or maybe even quote-unquote church with hurt or scars, that wasn't God who hurt you. That wasn't Jesus. That was man making a mistake, falling short. The Bible talks all over it. Men will fail you. He will never fail you. He's the only one that can't fail. See, when, when we as carnal beings try to take the supernatural and wrap it down to the natural, we always fall short. That wasn't Jesus who hurt you. Don't put God and man's shortcomings in the same picture. They're not the same. One will never fail you. And just like He will never fail you, God gives us a call for each and every one of us to be His hands and feet to this world. This painting, if you can't see it from the back, it says, Repaint Jesus. What do you mean, Eric, Samuel, Tim? About repaint Jesus, what's the deal with that? That's exactly what you guys have to do, one at a time. Your, your neighbor, your friend that's a couple lockers down, the kid that nobody talks to, that, yeah, he stinks a little, and he goes to school with you. You need to repaint Jesus to him. The woman that's walking into the abortion clinic at the bottom of her emotional well, we need to repaint Jesus to her. You go through the list of people that need to have Christ repainted, and sometimes it's overwhelming, but that's all we have to do is start with one. Each one of us has just decided to live our lives in a way that draws people to Christ, not pushes people from Him. Did you hear what I said? You have to live your life in a way that draws people to Christ, not pushes people from Him. There's a big difference, guys. A big difference.